Now you've set up your Mignon Grinder and your Profitech Go, the next step in the process is to get them working together. And to do this, we need to dial in. So basically what that means is we have to find the right grind size of the coffee to use within the coffee machine. So if you look at coffee a little bit like sand, if you had a very coarse sand, then the water would run through it very quickly. If it was very fine, then water would run through it very slowly. So why is this important? It's important because if we have a very coarse coffee and the water passes through the coffee too quickly, it will be under extracted. And that means that it will be lacking flavor and it will probably be very acidic. On the flip side, if the water goes through the coffee too slowly, you're gonna end up with a very, very bitter coffee. So we need to try and find that balance in between. It's usually the thing that people find the most daunting when they're setting up to have pull their first shot of espresso, but you don't need to worry. It's relatively easy to do, and we're gonna take you through it today. Out of the box, your Eureka grinder will be set at six seconds for a single serve. Of course, you can change that so we can have a double serve and you can also put it on continuous, something that we'll cover later on in the video. For simplicity, we're gonna focus on pulling one shot of espresso and we use what's called an espresso recipe. So rather than focus on a single serve or a double serve, we're just gonna focus on pulling a great shot of espresso. And the espresso recipe is based on the coffee that you choose to buy and that you enjoy. So in this case, we're talking about our Barista & Co Samba Nights, which is a medium roast coffee. So when we're dialing in this coffee, you may find that it would be different if you were using, say, a lighter roast coffee. So that's something to factor in. But for the purpose of this video, we're using our Samba Nights medium roast coffee. We talk about a single and a double serve. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't really focus on this here at Barista & Co. What we focus on is the espresso recipe. But out of the box, the Profitech Go will have a small porta filter basket, a large porta filter basket, and also your blank. Today, we're going to use the large porta filter basket. Typically, the large porta filter basket is good if you're dosing maybe somewhere around 15, 18 grams of coffee. If you're doing something as low as 8, 9, 10, then you may want to use the small one. But our belief for our coffee Samba Nights is that it's best to dose on the 17 to 18 gram area. And we're going to take you through that espresso recipe now. So the first thing that we need to do is put the coffee into the hopper. So it's a really simple process. Lid off the top of the hopper. Take your coffee. And we're just going to put a small amount in. We'd always recommend keeping your coffee fresh in a bag and pushing out the air. So when you're filling the hopper, don't actually fill it all the way to the top. It's better just to put in the coffee that you need. So the next thing is that we've got to move the grinder burrs to make sure that the right setting to pull a shot of espresso. So the first thing we want to do is if you turn and if you hit the two buttons at the bottom of your Eureka grinder, that's put it into continuous mode. Now that you're in continuous mode, we're going to turn on the burrs. So we're going to hit the trigger button here. And what we want to do, we're turning the knob clockwise and we should soon hear the burrs just touch very slightly. There. It's almost like the small chirping of a bird. As soon as you hear that, take it off very slightly anti-clockwise because we don't want to hear that. As soon as you hear it, stop and just nudge it back very, very slightly. And in essence, that's put us at zero position because we know that's the closest that the birds can possibly be. You do not want to turn it further because that means that the birds are rubbing and that could damage them over, the, over a period of time. So now we've found that position, we're going to turn it off. So now in essence, we've found our zero. It's important to remember that with this grinder, it's got a stepless motion. So although it's zero for us, it may not show a zero on the dial itself. So if we look at the small arrow that's on the front of the grinder, and we look at what number it's aligned with, in essence, you know that that number is your zero. So for example, in this case, it's four. For espresso, what we'd recommend is making small turns back to while you're dialing in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a half turn. So currently the four is showing at the bottom, we're going to turn it all the way to the top. So in essence, we've done a half turn through the anti-clockwise. And that's put us to a good starting point to start looking at dialing in. Now we're in a rough position to start dialing in our coffee. So one thing that we always have to do is ensure that you pull out the flap to allow the coffee to come through. So it's on the right hand side as you look at the grinder, pull it through. Sometimes you can forget and you wonder why the coffee's not coming through. So just remember to do that. Also remember, if you are going to take your hopper off, make sure that you push it back through before you take your hopper off because obviously coffee's gonna go everywhere when you do that. So next up, we're gonna put the first grind of coffee through. The espresso recipe that we use for our coffee, our Samba Nights Medium Roast, is that we put in 17 grams of coffee, we're looking for 34 grams out, and we're looking to do it in 25 to 30 seconds. So when you're first learning about espresso, I would suggest you keep it really, really simple. So whatever you're putting in, in this case, we're looking at 17 grams, 
Double it for what you want out, 34 grams, and you're looking to do it in 25 to 30 seconds. This is a crude measure, but it's worth using at the start. And as you get more experienced, you'll find that you'll move around with that and you'll change it. Of course, the thing that we need to talk about is weight. And we're talking about 17 grams in and 34 grams out. That means that when you're going through this process, you do need to use a set of scales. There are coffee scales available, um, which we're using today, but you can use any domestic scales as long as you've got something to put them in. And we'll take you through that process. To get started, you're gonna take the porter filter that comes with your Profi Teco and the large basket. So we've got two baskets. As I mentioned, you wanna use the large one that comes with it for this espresso recipe. And then you've got your porter filter. While we're dialing in as well, we'd always say that you should take out the spring that sits within the porter filter. The next thing you need are your scales. As I say, we're using some scales that work really well with coffee machines, but you could use domestic scales. Today, we're using our medium roast coffee, so we've put it in the hopper. So out of the box, you'll find that your Eureka Mignon grinder will be set on a single serve, and that single serve will be on six seconds. It's very easy to change it to a double, so all we do is press the button on the bottom right, and that's now moved us to the double serve setting or the larger setting. Out the box again, that'll be on 11 seconds. As mentioned earlier, we're using our medium roast coffee today, and we would recommend that you then use the minus sign and you take that 11 seconds down to 8.2. So if you press down quickly, you can put your finger on and hold it down if you wanna do it quickly, but it's easier to get it to there, um, precisely at 8.2. Next up, you're gonna take your large porter filter basket and you're gonna put it into your porter filter handle. Remember that earlier on, I took the spring out and you can see that works in that way. So what we're now going to do is take the porter filter. We've now set the double serve to 8.2 seconds for this coffee and we've got our weighing scale set beside us as well. What at this stage you need to do is turn on your scales. You want to take your porter filter basket, put it onto your scales and then hit the tear function. So now we know that we've got a zero weight here. Take your large porter filter basket back off the scales and into the handle. We've set it to 8.2 and we're going to put it in you might need to give it a quick shake just to avoid any grinds. Okay, cool. So we can now see that we've got the grind that's gone into the porter filter basket. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna put it onto our scales. So that's actually coming a little bit higher at 18.7. So what we wanna try and do is get it to that 17 grams for this espresso recipe and just keep it simple. As I say, in the future you may change this, but let's just focus on the 17 grams with our medium roast coffee. So there's an easy calculation that you can do. It's on 8.2 seconds and 18.7 came out and we actually want 17. So what you can do, if you take your phone and the calculator on your phone, and if we know that we did it in 8.2 seconds and we divide 8.2, by 18.7, which is what came out, that gives us 0.438. We then multiply that by 17, and that tells us that roughly 7.45 seconds will get us to the 17 grams. So we would go back onto your grinder and we'd move it down to 17.5, because we can only go to one decimal base place on this grinder. Then, if you take your porter filter basket again, and we're gonna open our scales up, Again, back onto the scales, tear it, and then take your porter filter again, put your basket back in. We've moved it to 17.5, and we're gonna trigger it on. So based on the calculation that we did earlier, we lost a little bit there, but not too much. Take it back off, onto our scales, and we've come in this time at 17.2. So for the purpose of this video, we'll start with that. So now you've got your 17 grams of coffee, or there or thereabouts, it's actually 17.2 that we've got now. As you develop further forward, it may be that if you've got more time while you're going through this process initially, you could then just take it down slightly because we know 17.2 came out. I would suggest that if you were to take that down to say 7.4, you may find that you get exactly on your 17. But this is a beginner's video and we're trying just to get you started with a shot of espresso. But if you've got a little bit more time at home, you might wanna play around with you know, 0.1, 0.2 of a second just to get it bang on that 17. And of course, as you develop, you might have a completely different espresso recipe. But for today, we're just gonna stick with this and keep it simple. Next thing you wanna do, we're gonna take our porter filter again, and we need to remember to put the spring back into it. So it's a relatively simple process. You just get it into the groove, and that's it, fully in place. So we're gonna take our coffee, and we're just gonna pop that back in. 
It might be that when you've done this, actually, that you would empty that coffee off, throw that away, and then do it again so you're grinding directly into the portafilter handle so it's not as messy, but I just wanted to keep it simple today. Now you've got your coffee in your portafilter basket, what you need to do is tamp it down. So tamping something that you're going to get used to over time, but just to get started, you can take the tamper that comes with the package within the Profitech Go, and you're just going to push down and you want to give it a good firm push and a little turn. You should find that when you do that, it's very smooth over the top. It's really important to try and keep it level as you do it. You don't want angles within the coffee because that's going to cause the water to go through at different places at different rates and that's going to have an uneven extraction and it won't taste great. Tamping something that's certainly, it takes a little bit of practice, but after a few goes, you'll find where it's right for you. But just put a decent amount of pressure down, not your whole body weight, just a nice firm press down and you should have a good starting point. So we've got that now. We're going to put it into the coffee machine. And in this case, we're looking to try and uh, brew. So we're doing 17 grams in. We're looking to get 34 grams of coffee out and we're trying to achieve that in around 25 seconds. This is our rough guide. So whatever you put in, double it out, 25 seconds. If you don't have a set of coffee specific scales, that's absolutely fine. You can use your domestic scales. So all you need to do is take your receptacle. So logically, we're using an espresso glass. Turn on your domestic scales. You're then gonna put your receptacle or coffee cup on it. Just hit tear and we're at zero. Next up, we're gonna place it underneath in the coffee machine and we're gonna get ready to pull the first shot. As soon as we turn it on, you're gonna see that there'll be a timer dial here. So again, going back to it, we're looking to achieve the 34 grams out in around 25 seconds. So if we hit on, you can see that the dial started, two, three, four. So I can see there straight away that that coffee's about to overflow in the cup. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the grind size that we've got for the coffee isn't right yet. And this is the dialing in process that we're going through. And this is something that you'll find at home as well. So all we're gonna do, you can just pour the coffee into there. And we're gonna start the process again. Take your cup off. You're gonna take your portafilter filter out and just knock your coffee into your knock box and we'll get ready to start the next stage of dialing in. So we found that when we pulled our first shot that it came through too quickly. And going back to that analogy around sand, in essence what's happened there is the grind size is too large, therefore the water's passing through the coffee too quickly. So we found that we were trying to do our 17 grams in, 34 grams out in the 25 seconds, but actually it came out much, much quicker than that and it was coming through in around 16, 17 seconds. So it's a really simple thing to rectify. All we need to do is make the grind size slightly finer. So, because we've got a stepless uh, dial on the grinder here, it means that you don't feel any clicks and they're also very sensitive. So it's important to move it in small increments. So as we look at the grinder, our suggestion would be that we found it came through very, very quickly there. So as I say, it was probably around 10 seconds too quick. We know that we've got a fairly large adjustment to make that to make it better. So all we're gonna do, we've currently got it set on one. We turn it clockwise to make it finer. So we're gonna move it, in essence, one increment. So we're gonna go from one to the zero on there. We'll make that change. That's a large change. That equates to just under a quarter turn on the dial. Because you've adjusted the burrs, you're gonna to have to run a little bit of coffee through because there's gonna be some residual grind in there. So the easiest way to deal with this is press the two buttons at the bottom and we've put it onto continuous. And now all we're gonna do is press on and off. And that's just brought through some coffee. So we're gonna dispose of this coffee and we'll start again with the grind process. So we're gonna press back on the two. We're gonna take it to the double setting that we're on so we had it set on 7.5 and we've now made the grind size finer because we've turned it. So logically this tells us that if we leave it on 7.5 and we've made it finer, we're going to get less coffee out because in essence the burrs are having to work a bit harder so there's less coffee coming through. So what I would suggest you do in this situation is you just move it up very slightly. So we've put it to 7.7 .7 seconds, we've moved it up 0 0.2 and hopefully that's gonna bring us out close to that 17 grams of coffee that we need. So we're gonna get our porta filter. We've got the basket back on our scales. Tear. So we're at a zero now. Back in.
There we go. So that's coming through at 15.8. So we know that we need to have a little bit more coming through on the grinder. So we know that we had a grind time on the grinder of 7.7 .7 seconds and 15.8 grams of coffee came out and we're trying to get to that 17 grams. So what we do, take your phone or your calculator if you've got one, we've got our 7.7 .7 seconds. We're gonna divide that by 15.8, which gives us 0.487 and we're gonna times that by 17, which gives us 8.2. So just go to your grinder, we're going to move that up to 8.2 and then in theory we're going to be very close to that 17 that we're looking for. So now we're going to put the coffee through and we'll see where we need to be. So straight back in. There we go. Back onto our scales and that's where we need to be. So take your coffee basket back into your porter filter and then we're looking for a good tamp. So when you're tamping you want to be looking to exert somewhere around 15 kilograms possibly up to 20 kilograms of pressure. It sounds a little bit weird but actually it can be useful just to press down on some scales at home to get an idea of what that feels like. So now we've got the coffee that we want in terms of the grind that's come through on our 17 grams. So we're going to put it into the machine, take your coffee cup or what you're going to be brewing into onto our scales or the scales that you've got at home, quick tear and then straight underneath. And now again all you're going to do is put the coffee on button and put it through. So we're looking to try and get something like we're looking for 34 or close to 34 grams out and we're looking for that 25 second time. There we go. So we'll take our espresso off, back over. Perfect. We've got it there. It's actually coming a little bit longer. So theoretically, you might want to just do a very small adjustment clockwise again, just to make it very slightly finer because the serve size is just a little bit too big, but it's very, very close. We've only come in on that at 36 grams, so there's not much in it. And that should give you a good base for your espresso.